Hey YouTube, I'm doing Outstanding and today we are doing a podcast. This podcast is going to be set around the new Star Wars film, so if you don't want spoilers, do not watch this video. If you don't care about spoilers, continue watching. Uh, that being said, we're going to start off with introducing you to the people I have here, because I've forgotten about that in times past, and people are like, who the hell is talking? Uh, so I've got here uh, Kylo Ren himself. Hello there. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, this is my friend Andrew. Hey. Uh, and this is my friend Noah. Hello there. You guys have heard both of them on the channel before, mostly Noah. Yes. Um, a lot. Except that last time where you didn't. <laughs> All right, uh, the last video that we did together, you, they literally couldn't. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. His audio just didn't work uh, yep. when we were playing it, so it's just me talking to myself while mm -hmm. playing Giant Pool. Yep. Uh, it was very strange. So. The first few moments of the film, you get in, and there's like 60 minutes of ads because it was just ridiculous. I sat down at the, th I, know, I sat down in the theater at like, geez, probably had to have been like 4:50, right? Mm. The showing starts at 5:10. Yeah. I sat there until 5:45 looking at ads. Ridiculous, absolutely yeah. painful. Yeah. I paid to see the movie. I shouldn't yeah. see ads. I think part right? of it is the movie industry is like dying. And they just want to get as much viewership as they can. Yeah. Honestly, I think. Well, like, I was I was going to buy popcorn, but the size, the, the medium yeah. size was like $7. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. popcorn. Yeah. Like, yeah. $7. Yeah. I can buy, like, a yeah. gallon of popcorn shells or something. Yeah. Uh, not I, shells. What are they called? Uh, kernels. Kernels. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Which will make me a lot more. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. oh, God. It was just bring just... your own popcorn popper to the, <laughs> light, to the movie theater. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do it. Uh. <laughs> anyway. So the first few, <laughs> first few moments of the film, we see the scrolling text, as always. Um, I should have looked it up beforehand so that I could read it out loud, but I'm not going to. The general gist of it is, Palpatine is back. <laughs> I remember the yeah. first word was yeah. the dead speak. Yeah. yeah. Also, I was gonna say, like, so apparently, like, from the credits, it sounded like the resistance, like, had heard him, like, literally yeah, heard so him. Yes, that, they did. Yeah. <laughs> so you can actually listen to that transmission. Okay. Uh, by playing Fortnite. I'm not oh. even fucking kidding. Oh really? That yes. was like where J.J. Abrams like came down and that whole. Yeah. Because I heard Le about that Legitimately, on they yeah. did the broadcast in Fortnite. I okay. found it on YouTube and I listened to it. Oh okay. It wasn't that interesting. Um. I don't yeah. feel like it added anything to the film, yeah. which is obvious. Uh, yeah. But you that that's the transmission. Mm. So. so does that mean Fortnite is in the Star Wars universe? I don't know. Let's not think about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll definitely be that yeah. way, not the yeah. other way around. Yeah. Star Wars being <laughs> yeah. in the Fortnite universe. Yeah. Well, you have to keep in mind, Thanos is also in the Fortnite universe. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Only a matter of time before so it, we so see Captain Picard. Yeah, it's, it's it's a weird situation. Yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we see the scrolling text. It's like Palpatine. Yeah. Um, now I don't necessarily remember the next scene because I saw the movie like two days ago. You guys mm. just saw it though. Mm. Just got out of it. So yeah. what happened immediately after the scrolling text? Yeah. The, the first thing that happened was Kylo Ren landed on a planet. I forget the name. I literally have to look it up. Uh, and he went to find Palpatine because he knew where he was. He had found a Sith Wayfinder and it showed him to the planet. And he be, it went down there in his TIE Fighter and was going to kill him, but Palpatine tempted him with power and he didn't actually end up killing him. Yeah, and yeah. It was, I thought the, whatever his chamber fortress thing was like, the, all the statues and all that stuff. It's like, what was that like? Is there like a huge story behind it? Or um, So, I... Uh, at least the seat that he was sitting in mm. uh, was designed way back yeah. with, with Episode Four of yeah. Star Wars. Okay, so um, yeah. they just reused yeah. some designs that were yeah. intended for the Emperor way, mm. way back. Yeah, and like a little bit of a flash forward to the or foreshadowing yeah. is you know where he has the whole like Sith on his side. From what I've heard, like Palpatine was basically the chosen one for the Sith. Like, mm -hmm. we're, like, because the, the yeah. Republic was around for a thousand years, and the Sith, throughout a, long, a lot of that time, were trying to find a way to take down the Jedi. So yeah. they eventually basically did, and they got overthrown, and then so probably that whole fortress yeah. was probably made by them or something. I yeah. I, I, I do recall, um... The heck? I don't know what that was. Demons. Um, <laughs> I, I lost my train of thought. Uh... 
Ooh, that's Palpatine something we'll definitely have to talk about in a second. Yeah. I'm just trying to find what but the planet's name was. I was just talking was. about the fortress and like right, Palpatine. Yeah. And... yeah. So, at Palpatine uh, is just a very strange character. I felt like mm. throughout uh, the movie, like you see him attached to this weird giant arm thing. Oh, I yeah. felt like he was some mixture between GLaDOS and a zombie from the thriller. Yeah. Ooh. Also, the planet's yeah. name is Exegol. Oh, yeah, yeah. testicle. It reminds <laughs> me... It... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he yeah. looked like. Honestly, it reminded me of the Borg Queen in uh, Star Trek. Oh, yeah. It reminded me a thing. lot of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Except that whole, like, crowd in the background. Yeah. That was really weird. Yeah. Like, w- yeah. were they literally just there to cheer him on? Yeah. It also, I'm not entirely yeah. sure they were real. Well, I was going to say, because a lot of this movie was, like, blending between, like, reality. Like, it's like, you know, the whole Ray and um, Kylo Ren thing, where it's like, they're on different places where they see each other. It almost seemed like a little bit of that was going on with the audience. Because, like, you didn't see them at all until you saw them. You're like, wait, they're there the whole time? Yeah. It's just... Yeah, it was yeah. some weird shit. And then, yeah. Like, yeah. It seemed it was, like... It looked really cool. Because, like, you couldn't have done this, like, ten years ago. So... With all that stuff. I, I watched um, Adam Savage's Tested podcast about the yeah. movie. Okay. Uh, and I disagree with their views. I actually entirely. haven't seen that one yet. Uh, did it well, come out, like, what? It, it literally out? came out, like, an hour ago or something. Okay. What did... Right. Adam Savage's test so podcast. What did, what did Norm uh, think of it? Well, the, it wasn't their main thoughts yeah. that I objected to. They were uh, mostly saying that uh, they didn't like the film, but they did. It was kind of okay. a weird situation. But okay. what they what they said after that is they wanted Ryan Johnson to make his own say, uh, sequel trilogy. I was like, no. who the fuck would say that? No, no, like Ryan so, Johnson made yeah. the worst Star Wars film in history. Yeah, I, I, like, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I would rate episode eight as the worst Star Wars film, like worse than Solo, worse than Rogue One. I, I mean, to be fair, episode eight. Yes, I haven't been able to get through Rogue One yet, but I would still say Rogue One was better than episode eight. So what I would say is that going into episode eight, I intentionally didn't want Force Awakens because I felt like they, they copied episode four, even though I liked Force Awakens. Yeah. So I still liked it, but I think episode nine made episode eight better. Like the whole Luke thing. Where like Luke was like supposed to be a hero all the way up until that movie, like he wasn't. He's like, oh, forget the Force. But in this movie, he had like a redemption as a Force ghost, bringing Ray back. Yeah. So I thought well, it was kind of cool. That's the thing is, so J.J. Abrams did uh, the Force Awakens, mm. the seventh one, yeah. and he set up so many questions, yeah. and then Ep- Ryan Johnson comes in for Episode Eight, throws it all away. Yeah. And it's like, hey, guess what? We're gonna kill the bad guy that you yeah. were, you know, yeah, talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna fucking. Make Luke throw away the lightsaber. Who gives a shit about that? We're going to turn him into a pussy little bitch. And then even Mark Hamill hated the way Ryan Johnson did it. Yeah. Mark Hamill does not like Ryan Johnson. Mm. Or, or whatever his name was. Uh, Ryan Johnson. I'm pretty sure that's yeah. his name. Yeah. Uh, overall, I, I felt like it was the most disappointing Star Wars film I had seen. Like, the action mm. is good, sure. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it will always be good in the modern age. Because yeah. they, they've got tons of money to throw away on yeah, making yeah. it look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that people see it as a really shiny turd and forget yeah, yeah. that it's a turd at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that being said, I mean, obviously 4, 5, 6 is better than 1, 2, 3, or 7, 8, 9. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just on story alone. Mm. But episode 8 mm. was just bad. 9 mm. was very condensed, trying to be mm. both episode 8 and episode 9 mm. while doing the same thing that 8 did to 7. Because there were a lot of questions set up in 8, like mm. the little boy with the broom and whatnot. Mm. And then it's just like, eh, who gives a shit about that? We're just going to throw it all away mm. and start again. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the boy with mm. the broom. Yeah, yeah. That didn't yeah. F- amount to anything. Yeah, I thought it would, at the very end of the movie, they would just been like, oh, here's the new order. It's called the Skywalkers. And yeah. They didn't do that, so. Yeah, they didn't do anything with, like, and, and it's just because J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson disagreed so much on a lot of things. Um, mm. Because as far as I understand it, J.J. Abrams actually had outlined mm-hmm. uh, 8 and 9 when yeah. he was working on 7. Yeah. And then Ryan Johnson came in and threw it all away. He's just like, no, we're yeah. not going to do any of that. Yeah. He designed his own movie, which some people like, most don't. Mm. Um, and it just, it did not go well. And so yeah. when J.J. Abrams yeah. comes back for 9, he's like, ah, who gives a shit about that guy? Yeah. We're just going to throw it all away. Pretend yeah. it didn't happen. Yeah. Um, it's just ridiculous. Now, another thing that you'll notice uh, is in... Nothing. I just re- realized that she, the lightsaber that they split in eight, the, it was Anakin's lightsaber and Luke's lightsaber, and it was completely fine in in nine. It was oh. like it never happened. Oh, because it had huh. literally been it had been torn in half. Oh yeah, and hmm. it was like it never happened. That's weird. Uh, in seven eight nine, 
it is the shortest trilogy as far as time passed. I don't know if you've noticed yeah, that, yeah, but yeah. in like four, five, and six, like isn't it damn near a decade or more? So four and five are, um, I think, close to each other, and then uh, five and six are are farther. I think. Yeah, and then like one, two, yeah. three is like a, a huge yeah, span. Yeah, that's like 15, yeah, it was ninety nine to. Years. Oh, oh, one, two, oh, and three is one. Our is universe or their universe? To... What? You're talking about our universe or their no, universe? No, in their universe. Oh, yeah. yeah and their exactly. universe is like 13 or 14 years, I'd say. Yeah. Because it's like Anakin at nine, yeah. 19, and 23 or something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the difference between like three and four is astronomical. Yeah, it's almost. like 19 years, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then the distance between six and seven is pretty astronomical. Yeah, it's almost twice. So it's like 32 years or something. Yeah. 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 But Long the nine. difference between seven, eight, and nine is only like four years. I think it's more like a year and a half. Because yeah, the thing is, because, so between seven and eight is a few weeks. Mm. Because literally it goes from Ray hand lightsaber to right. picking it up. So it's probably weeks from beginning to the end. And in this movie, we don't know. I mean, I, I thought like a year or something like that because it's the time that Ray trained with Leia is basically what we're looking at. Right, yeah. But yeah. still, not much time at all has yeah. passed. Yeah. Uh, and that, I would say, is a little bit disappointing. I wish they could have shown... Mm. You know, more stuff yeah. happen. I I also personally I wish that they would just forget that eight and nine ever happened. These movies mm. and just have J.J. Abrams redo eight and nine, huh. so that they could be done by one director for the whole thing. Uh, yeah, um, because that would have been significantly better. Mm. I don't know. Not to really. I don't know if it say that nine is bad. Nine was really no no no. Really nine good. was easily the best mm. of the sequel trilogy. Oh yeah, See, it was like. I had a person uh, that I was talking to about it before we actually watched it said it was basically like two movies in one because yes. it was making yeah. up for yeah it is lost time. Yeah. But I think less. having different directors is fine um, because that's what they did the so, original trilogy. So what they should have done is similar to what they did to the original trilogy and simil- mm. similar to what they do to all the Marvel movies. Mm. They have one overarching mm. director mm. with several tiny directors because mm. um, like Kevin Feige does mm. pretty much all the Marvel movies, yeah. but he has the smaller directors do the smaller things. That yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The general idea is still yeah, kept throughout. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they didn't do that here. They're like, ah, no, you take full creative control of just one episode. Who yeah, gives yeah. a shit about the previous one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, it left to a lot of unanswered questions even now. And then, like, just to skip to the end of the movie, they're like, what the hell is with the yellow lightsaber? Um. Okay, so yellow lightsabers originally, uh, before for the guards. they were for guards of the Jedi Temple, which I think kind of makes sense because she's basically the guardian of the Jedi way now. Right, but uh, you know how they're made, right? They're completely artificial. They're the only artificial Jedi blade. No, that was the orange one. Oranges were artificial. Really? I, mm-hmm. I looked into the yellow blade like immediately after the movie, and I swear it said that it was... Huh. No, yeah. it was just the orange ones and the, the red ones, apparently. Are still are, are still artificial. Mm. Weird. Which actually, Luke's is a Luke's green one was an artificial crystal too. Huh. Yeah. Either way, it's very strange. Also, uh, as far as lightsabers go, I wish they had done more with the uh, weird red dual lightsaber thing that she had. Yeah, they showed that in the trailer, and I was like, "Oh, when's she gonna make that?" And she Wait, was literally one? in one scene. The one? They showed the, her the, dual the, lightsaber, the one like that the one unfolded. that flips. It literally was in. It the showed up for like thirty seconds in the film. It was pretty much the length of the. Tra- the only reason they edited that at all was for the trailer. Yeah, to make people think that she was going to turn to the dark side. Wait, she, so didn't. she didn't have one though, right? No, no, no. Her, it was her weird. Oh, the, the teeth, the teeth thing. The teeth thing. Oh yeah, weird. yeah. So the only the only thing that I didn't see in the movie was so when they're on the desert uh, planet with like all the festival people, um, when they fell through the rocks, they just what they just went. They through. just fell through the rocks, and, and uh, there was a scene yeah. where. She took out her, a lightsaber as a yeah. light source, and yeah. then he turns on this flashlight, and everybody laughed because he was like, "Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice." You know, it was funny when I was in the theater. What had happened is like after they sunk down, um, I jokingly remarked that, uh, "Oh, that's the end," and then the <laughs> yeah. guy laughed. Yeah, 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 yeah. The guy yeah, next yeah, to me laughed, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about uh, yeah because they li- literally they fell through the the sand, and yeah. then it panned over to back to the, whatever yeah, planet yeah, they were on yeah, before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because they're going back and forth between Kylo Ren and the uh, Resistance. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it definitely felt awkwardly paced. Uh, now, uh, while they're on that planet, uh, she goes all Palpatine on Chewie, and I was kind of <laughs> hoping that Chewie would have died there. Not that I I, I like Chewie. I, like, uh, I think he's a great character, but uh, none of the main characters have uh, any real sense of danger to me because, they, I mean, they've got plot armor, uh, and that's really disappointing. I felt like it would have really reshaped 
her as a character if she had actually killed him. But nothing yeah. actually happened. Yeah. No, I granted, mean, I, I think people would have hated the movie if Chewie died. I mean, I, I mean, I heard a lot, a lot of people saying that is he actually dead when I knew he wasn't because I saw there were two transports in that oh, scene before. There were two. Oh, I didn't mm-hmm. see that. Yeah. Yeah. So he got in one, and then when I saw her trying to pull it down, I was like, oh, are they going to like rip it in half like they did that lightsaber? And then she did the force lightning, and I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the force lightning was a huge surprise to me. I was not yeah. expecting that. It's like, yeah. why didn't that show up at all any other time? Like, why there? Like, it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Why? Yeah. Speaking of the force lightning, in this movie, literally compared to every other Star Wars movie, the force lightning has never been as powerful as it is in this one. Like, even her just doing that to that ship was yeah. monstrous compared to anything else. Yeah. And then when, uh, when Palpatine did on the... On a, I'm sorry, Palpatine? Palpatine did on whatever the planet's name <laughs> was boy. with the, like, Testicle. spire of lightning that knocked out all the ships. Uh, Literally haven't seen anything yeah. of that caliber outside of a super weapon. Now, I, it yeah. was disappointing to me that he didn't actually destroy any of the ships I mean, there. that we saw. I'm sure a few of them I'm were... Sure, but it seemed like mostly he just kind of held on to them for a little while. I think they were. Start, uh, he was hoping that he'd do it long enough that they'd just fall to the ground and break. And it seems like they were about to, but then, like, as soon as he let go, they just kind of like petered off and yeah. flew away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, I mean, he knew that there was a, a bigger threat in front yeah, of him. That is true. He would have died if he had kept doing that. He would have just been like, ah. I, I have to say, one of the best scenes in the movie, absolutely one of my favorites, is when uh, Ray and Kylo are like chatting and like she like winks at him and then just hands him the lightsaber oh, yeah, through yeah, the force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. That was fucking... yeah. And then he's just like, he, yeah. l- <laughs> he <All> literally, right. <laughs> they literally teleported the lightsaber. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, because they, they've been teleporting material between the two at least since eight. I'm yeah. pretty sure they did it in yeah. seven. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. Like, yeah, yeah. like rain had yeah. come through a little bit or mm-hmm. something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and then in eight, I want to say, uh, Darth Vader's helmet no, uh, or was that he, a nine? The he, he teleported water, and he knew that she was in a wet place. Or no, something. no, there, there was a time when she was on his ship. Uh, oh and yeah, I, nine, and it that was, was nine. Helmet. Okay, I couldn't. Yeah, that's what it I wasn't a permanent teleport because the helmet went back. Did and it? it? Like the, he saw the helmet, and I was like, so that's where you are because there's literally nothing, nothing like it. There's no, only one yeah. Vader helmet. Yeah, at least uh, there probably actually is on his castle and most of our like spares. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But... Yeah. What's all? What's up with the soul sucking that Palpatine oh. did? <laughs> that's <laughs> so weird. So was... I guess. So I, I looked into some more of the lore. That's not yeah. something out of question yeah. for what he would do. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. he's done that before in yeah. the non-canon books. Oh, okay. well, they no, used that... to be canon. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. used to be canon. Yeah. But so basically, what it does is uh, he would before meeting Anakin, he would mm. train up people and then just steal their life force. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Like, that's just something he did. Also, um, so I just thought of something. You know how Darth Vader's helmet's, like, intact? Like, the mask and the Had cowl? It, yeah. how, how did it get that way, if that's the one that blew up on the Death Star? Because the last time No, no, that's that, not the one that blew up apart. on the Death Star. Uh, that's the one that, uh, at the end of 6, Luke yeah. burns in the effigy. Yeah. <gasps> right, yeah. okay. Then yeah. what happened? Did he take that? Yeah, he took the, the full body. Did he? Yeah, you could see the whole the entirety of Darth Vader is yeah. being burned. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah, because, okay. because they did a call back in Phantom Menace with Qui-Gon. With the whole yeah, right, all right. Yeah. yeah, so that... I, If I hadn't have gone back and watched 6 after watching the movie, I would not have understood mm. that. But Yeah, um, I forgot that... I was just like, oh, oh for... that's why the mask is all burned. I thought it would have been destroyed or something, but... Well, they should also, a lot out. of the stuff wasn't destroyed, apparently, in this Death Star's explosion. That is true. A lot of the glass should have been completely broken, yeah. but whatever. Yeah. So where... What's the water... Mo- the water... That was Endor, I think. One so, of the moons of Endor, anyway. So was it... It's not the same as where the Eoks live, or... No, 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 no that's have... a, So that, a there's, like, six different moons of Endor yeah. around yeah. Endor. Okay. But, uh... I, so I looked a little yeah. bit more into that yeah, as well, and apparently... People just refer to them all as Endor, but yeah. usually it's kind of like referring to like I'm going to New York. Most people are going to think you're going to New York City yeah, yeah. when you're actually yeah. going anywhere else in New York. Yeah. Okay. So it's the same thing. The forest moon of Endor is like the New York City yeah, yeah, of yeah. New York. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when they yeah. say they're going to Endor, they're usually going there. So but there are like... other moons. There's like a stony moon. There's like a water moon. And then there's the really boring gas yeah, yeah. giant that surrounds them. Okay. But isn't that Endor? Yes, that Endor? is the actual Endor. But yeah. They're so, all called Endor. It's really weird. Yeah. I looked into some more of the planets, and a lot of people are like, oh, what is it, Tatooine and Dantooine? Oh, well, of, it's similar to how... That means that this is oh. wrong. 
Yeah. I mean, technically not, but technically I don't think yeah. Endor is near Bespin. No. But I don't know. Sorry, we're looking at a Star Wars risk map. They can't see this. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to play this bra. afterwards. Um, anyway, uh, we, we do the same thing in the real world with, like, Greenland and mm. Iceland. and mm. like. So mm-hmm. Tatooine and Dantooine is not that far <laughs> off from what an alien species might actually name their stuff. So, uh, yeah. anyway, back to the movie. Um, um, <clears throat> overall... <clears throat> I mean, I liked it. I mm-hmm. I would rate it a solid five out of seven. Five out of seven. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I the scene in the uh, when uh, after uh, he, uh, Kylo Ren speaks to Palpatine and mm. the Star Destroyers start lifting out of the planet. I was, was like, fun, oh, that's it? a whole lot of Star Destroyers. That's like a whole fleet. But then when that one of those Star Destroyers is launched and somehow he didn't launch all of them at one. Why wouldn't he just launch them all? <laughs> anyway, so he launches one and then it goes and destroys what what planet was that? It, it they actually use like a practical effect for that. I know, you I saw tell. that. Yeah. It was like, oh, he's gonna like laser the planet. Was he destroying the city, and then the whole thing cracks like an egg? And I'm like, what? So now they have a. I mean, I know that's canon yeah. in the comics yeah. and stuff. That but that was started... intense. That is the strongest ship we've ever seen. Yeah, like I it, originally it took like yeah. a super star destroyer with a laser, but that's like a regular one. So I was wondering, where does he get all the people to pilot those ships? Yeah, that's also what I was wondering. Where where did all those people come from? <laughs> yeah. Also, Are they clone. He, yes. They killed so many people in this movie. Yeah. Like, each of those ships is, what, 100,000 troopers? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. And there was at least, like, 400 ships. So I guess as far as I understand, uh, they steal babies and turn them into soldiers. Yeah, that's what happened to Finn. I just but to that's what happened to all of the other uh, mm-hmm. ran away stormtroopers, apparently. They were taken as babies. And that's why Lando. Oh, 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 yeah. That's yeah, why Lando yeah, was yeah. talking to that chick at yeah. the end of the movie, and that came off really creepy to me. Yeah, yeah. it's like this big old Lando's are like, "Oh, so where are you from?" He's like, I don't know. Let's find out. I honestly, what's 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 mean? I honestly mean? kind of thought he was gonna be like, "So where are you from?" Like he recognized her or something, and then she. Yeah, said, I thought that she was gonna be like his daughter or something. Yeah, that yeah. would have been interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it, it comes off in one of two ways. One, there's gonna be a spinoff, or two, this guy is like interested in a chick fifty five younger than he is. 55 younger? Yeah. 55 years younger than yeah. he is. I was like, eh, that's really creepy to me. I mean, uh, he was already kind of creepy with, like, Leia and all that. That is true. Yeah, he yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never really liked Lando. <laughs> I don't know how he ever came to join them. Like, he straight up betrays them the first time they ever meet him. Yeah, but then he double he goes again. Sure, he double crosses later on, yeah, but he's yeah. just going to double cross him again, at least in my opinion. Uh, he's, like, not, that's... he's not going for what's most profitable for him. He, he, like basically, he realized that he did wrong in, mm. in, in episode five. Eh, I still wouldn't have trusted the dude. Yeah, yeah. Who was, just, I was, just who, who was the best that was interesting? Think. And I was gonna bring it up. Uh, yeah, I something. Mm. Uh, you just keep talking. Not, I'll figure I mean, it he, out. he is technically because they voiced uh, Hayden Christensen. In it. Yeah, I heard yeah. Hayden Christensen's yeah. voice. I was really disappointed. Yeah. I wanted oh, to I, see full ghosts. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but at least he did a lot more ghosts than most. Like, like Mace Windu yeah. was in there. Yeah, how fucking yeah. cool it would have been if they had all been standing behind her as like forced yeah. ghost projections, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you and then, like, are, like, and then yeah. they like phase into yeah, yeah. her or something. And then yeah. Palpatine like, be like, "Oh crap!" Uh, like Palpatine is <laughs> looking around, he's like, "Oh Screw shit! Why wow, there's so many fucking ghosts?" Screw but like it. you know the, the crowd in the background, and they're all just like, "Oh, by the way, we're Jedi." <laughs> oh god that would have been brutal no could you imagine if like all the little kids like all the jedi that ever mm. existed you see them show up yeah. like yeah, even yeah. like uh what's her nuts uh ahsoka yeah and, like yeah, all yeah. that yeah sure it would have been yeah. astronomically expensive probably mm. yeah because they're, they're gonna have to de-age yeah. a lot of them too and yeah, yeah. bring some of them into reality like ahsoka because yeah. she's only I mean, been animated but yeah it it's would Disney, be so they can do whatever. They I'm want. sure. Yeah, <laughs> but it would have been so cool to see that image and then have them fade into her, and then behind yeah. him have all of the Sith. Yeah, plays in him. Like to see Darth Maul yeah. again would have been really cool. Yeah, yeah. Even as just a ghost in the background, be like, "Oh, yeah. Darth Maul, I'm yeah. here." <laughs> yeah, but uh, oh god, yeah. to, especially like you see them like kind of do uh, mm-hmm. like running at the person that they're gonna be like phasing yeah. into, and then like yeah. you just see this massive like ho- yeah. holy ghost of red and blue just phasing uh, into them as they're yeah. like. Ah! You know, like, yeah. oh, guy would have been so yeah. cool. I would, I, just, you, mm. I would just say out of any character in Star Wars, Raid is the best capture of what the dark side light side does. Better than Anakin. Oh, sure, yeah. Better than Luke. Better than anyone. Um, because she she's like, like if you go through like all the times throughout the movies, that she's like, learns with the dark side, learns with the light side and all that stuff, she captures it the best. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. it like goes from like black and white to like not as black and white, and yeah. then it goes to like 
something that you can go back and forth in in the last trilogy. Well, because because basically she acts like how one of us would act. It's like if we found out that we were like the grand, you know, the, the grandchild, grand the grandchild of like the like the worst human being in like the entire galaxy. Oh, so like, I want more explanation like, like, about like if we were that. the grandchild of Hitler, we would like feel really bad about it. But if we're actually well, good people, we'll still do the right thing. The <laughs> grandchild, uh, the, there was an actual grandson of Hitler, and I believe he just yeah. took his own life. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah. It would have been really disappointing if that's how the movie ended, right? Just pops. <laughs> wow. Like, eh. She wow. just pulls out her laser. Well, I mean, she's she, like, eh. Well, I mean, I mean, she technically did die. Or not technically. She almost died. And then undied. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the kiss wasn't needed. <laughs> yeah. It could have been like a brotherly kiss. A friendly kiss. <laughs> you say brotherly kiss, but that's happened friendly. before. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> we can like, yeah. So. We'll show up later. Skywalkers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Later. The, she, like somebody asks her her name and then she just stands there for like half a minute. Just. Skywalker. <laughs> Skywalker. You think Han would have been there or something? But right. yeah. And then yeah, they yeah. just show yeah. Luke and yeah. Leia. It's like, yeah. uh, what are you implying? Yeah. Like, I know they kiss, but was yeah. it a passionate night after where they made yeah. it with Palpatine? Like, yeah. oh my! Yeah, Palpatine's just standing behind them, like, do it, do it. <laughs> Luke's like, I don't want to do my sister. She's not your sister, I promise. But yeah. Daddy said, I don't care what your Daddy said. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, overall, it, it was a good film. I liked it. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder in the future they're going to talk about Plagueis or whatever. Yeah, I was really hoping that... I mean, have you heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Yes. I don't have the whole thing memorized. Yeah. <laughs> something, yeah. something, well, because, dark Because, side. you know, like, the whole, um, like, man, if it was born with midichlorians and all that stuff, I, I don't know, I feel like they would, might answer that at some point. Or, yeah, well, so, I mean, the midichlorians is a little bit better explained now that, uh, outside of canon, it, it's, mm. it's explained. So it's, mm. it's supposed to be representative of mitochondria in real people. Mm. Uh, because they do very similar things. You mm. might know that uh, mitochondria is the yeah. powerhouse of the cell. Yes. Um, anyway, we don't have to get into that now. You can find those kind of yes. theories online if yes. you want to look into it. But I'm not as against midichlorians mm. as some people. I like them. I think it's a good idea to explain yeah. it. However, it makes much more sense that they explain it mm. when you look at what George Lucas had planned for some oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. With the whims traveling through the midichlorians. To the, the wills. The wills, yes. yes. To travel through the midichlorians across the galaxy by using the force. Fucking weirdest shit is what it oh, is. Oh yeah, it was like, you go from <laughs> science fantasy to like actual science fiction with what he was planning. Yeah, yeah he was planning on going into a microbial universe yeah. and saying that like, that's the, only, that's the only reason anybody ever has the force. It's, it's some weird ass shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're all pretty glad that he sold to Disney instead. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. yeah. That last yeah, movie Everybody was... made a lot of money, so I don't... Yeah, I well, he's, he, he's making a lot of money now. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. he sold it for like four point two billion. Yeah, almost as much as Minecraft. No, Minecraft sold for what? Two point two point two point four. Yeah, two point yeah. five billion. Yeah. It makes me wonder if they're leaving it set up for another trilogy oh, to dude, come out in easily. like ten years. Easily, it looked like they're setting it up for another film trilogy. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I they're not going to just have her come onto the scene with a yellow blade and then not explain shit. Yeah, like come on, there's. If she doesn't show up in a spinoff or some sort of trilogy after this, I'd be very surprised. I was, mm. I'm still wondering why it's yellow in particular. Yeah, that doesn't make sense for her. It would have been, honestly, it would have made more sense if it was, like, white. Because that's a purified red one. Mm. You know what I wonder more is, what color do uh, the Grey Jedi have? Grey Jedi? Yeah, haven't you heard? Or, they might not be called the Jedi, they're just called, like, the Grey. But um, they're, like, in between the light and dark. I think they just have... I don't know. Gray Jedi. Oh, what color lightsaber do Gray Jedi use? Yes, they're called Gray Jedi, by the way. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so um, I guess that's Obi Wan, right? That's Qui Gon. Qui Gon. Qui Gon was a Gray Jedi, apparently. Yeah. And he used a yeah. green. Well, he like went against the the council. Um. So between the start of the Great Sith War in four thousand BBY and the finish of the Dark Wars in thirty nine fifty one BBY. The Jedi went from the height of their power, reaching level solo that the, uh, oh, to reaching level solo that the entire Jedi Order went nearly extinct as war spread across the galaxy. Some Jedi came to believe that a centralized government was essential. Blah blah blah. Jedi Code. Da 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 da. Chief of the Librarian. Something. Great Jedi often utilized the dark side of the Force. However, they were not consumed by it, similar to what Rey was. Mm -hmm. um, 
Grey Jedi maintained a balance in their force alignment and did not devote themselves to either side entirely. In fact, many Grey Jedi denounced those who fully committed to a way of life, which uh, emphasized the dark side. Grey Jedi commonly demonstrated their skills with both light and dark side force capabilities. For example, lightning. You yeah, know? Um, uh, yeah, actually, it does say that. I, yeah, I, but what colors did their light That's what I'm trying to turn. find. Uh, well, there's uh, Qui-Gon Jinn with the green. Uh, Julie Bindu. Well, Mace Windu was purple. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think he was not a great Jedi. I, he was definitely a normal Jedi. Oh, okay. So I guess uh, Jolie Bindu had the yellow saber. Uh, Ray speculated. Blue and then yellow. Yeah. So there's not a whole lot on the great Jedi. Yeah. No. Um, but I guess yellow was... I definitely say that Mace Windu was one at some point, if not oh. always. Why? Well... I mean that's so. That's like technically part of there's his no character. there's no canon explanation as to why he has a purple saber. Mm. Um, it's just, yeah, which is disappointing. But I mean, yeah. it makes sense that he may have toiled with the dark side. To, yeah. to me, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay, so if, I feel like if Qui Gon is a great Jedi in that he, you know, op- opposes the Jedi and the Sith, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like because the thing is, the main person that Qui Gon was opposing was Yoda and Mace Windu. Because both those are the Mace Windu is the one who's vocal about it. Like he shall not be trained. Well, so what? What, what I think we're referring to is like Mace Windu before at that, that at that point. Sure, yes, uh, he's very much a Jedi. But mm, before that, we think he mm. could have been a great okay. Jedi. Yeah, so and like, in fact, from, from the EU, basically, some yeah. of the expanded lore from back when it was still canon said that the reason his lightsaber was purple was because it was a mix of dark side and light, which mm. blue and red make purple. Yeah, I just don't see it in his character. Well, you don't see a whole lot of his character on the screen, yeah. really. Nah. Um, if you look more into, like, the Clone Wars, you see yeah. a bit more of okay. it. Like that Clone Wars animation of him taking down that mm. freaking thing. Wow. Yeah, he's like... like that the, was super the, well, cool. Well, Palpatine was, like, on part with that, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I Personally, I think the, the strongest Force user is Anakin. Um, but only if you consider the expanded universe. Mm-hmm. Because uh, he's not really shown to be that strong in the movies, sadly. Yeah. There was also a Star Killer who pulled an entire Star Destroyer out of orbit. So I, I don't know if you saw the game theory video on this, but uh, based on the new Jedi Fallen Order game, there's a scene where Darth Vader is like holding off a torrent of water, like in a tunnel that's like five feet by five feet, or something like no bigger than that. But he, anyway, he's holding off this like massive torrent of water on a planet with like thirty times gravity. And it, he's like 30 fathoms under the water. So it's like trillions of pounds of force coming at him. And he's holding off with just yeah. the force. Hmm. Um, so that's technically yeah. the strongest thing yeah. ever shown. Yeah. Um, so, you know, also something that doesn't make sense? According to the game theory. is So apparently I saw a video there saying that, like, you know, new Stormtrooper armor got upgraded from the clones because mm. apparently it made it more flexible for the people to move around that kind of stuff. Yeah. And it was slightly better. Why does a Stormtrooper blaster bullet straight to the armor kill him or knock so, him down so uh there's actually a, a okay. good story that i read right. on that as well basically what it is is um it's a mixture between being good to move in good to withstand hits yeah. and cost okay but they're trying to keep them much more cost effective than either yeah. of the other two yeah. so yeah. It, it, it won't ever be able to take on a straight blast but it, yeah. like a side blast will go off quite well and technically we don't see very many of them die so the idea is it's not built for bullets like ours mm. it's built for specifically lasers so it'll melt and like concave a little bit into the armor that's why it's like so bulky mm. Mm. uh and then they usually leave their chest unprotected but it still knocks them out for a while breaks their ribs mm. and what have you because yeah. somehow there's force involved because i mean yeah. you see these guys go flying back when they get yeah. shot I mean, yeah. like, so it's like that's definitely more force than a bullet yeah. like the uh the scene where uh what's his name uh pride shoots Hux, yeah and he went back like 15 feet yeah yeah, I don't know. That, that was really disappointing to me. I did not like how they portrayed Hux in this movie. Yeah, I, he was like, he was like really, 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 really evil, and then all of a sudden, I'm gonna go good. Oh, I'm dead. Well, he's like, I, I get the point that he's making. He's always been against Kylo Ren. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. I just don't think they portrayed him well. In yeah, the past I, couple I think movies, really. he should have stayed alive a little longer and like been killed by Palpatine. I think that would have been cooler. Or, or, you know, it would have been interesting to see his double-crossing, you know, fail him somewhere along the line. Like, he thinks he's meeting up with, you know, one of the Jedi or mm. what have you, and then turns mm. out, oh, no, it's really it's someone on the bad team. <laughs> I don't know. It would have been yeah. better. But instead, they're like, yeah. no, dead. You're a spy, bitch. Also, also um, you know how uh, Kylo Ren threw his lightsaber away when he yeah. denounced yeah. that? 
Somebody's definitely going to find that oh, at some yeah. point. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, also, I, the lightsaber at the very end that she buries, and the person just walks up. It's like, oh, I'll stick this. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, she definitely does force bury them. Yeah. Uh, so I think they're fairly far down. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> It was an interesting use of the Force. I don't think we've seen something like that. Uh, like, uh, this whole movie was also, the, I think, the first uh, that I know of canon uh, time we've seen Leia's lightsaber. And the fact that yeah. we've seen her being trained in the Force other than the episode Yeah, I, eight. I guess she gave up on the Force is how they explain it. Like, That's why we never see her do a whole lot with it. Yeah, she foresaw... <laughs> yeah. She foresaw his son de- his son's death and put away her lightsaber for some reason. I don't didn't really also, explain it that well. Also, it's like, how does Leia die? It's like I said my son's name and then I died. Well, so I guess she she's doing the same thing that you know like Yoda did. She gave you know what she could in story and then just yeah, yeah. dissipated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we didn't even see her come back as a ghost, which I mean I get it. No, the we actress did. is dead. Did? We yeah, right at the end when uh, yeah, Ray yeah. said Ray Skywalker. Oh right. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah, but I don't know if that counts. I mean, it totally does. They were literally there. <laughs> <laughs> but couldn't they have had her say on you know, one of her already pre-recorded lines? Yeah. Also, the I, speaking of that scene, uh, when Ray uh, had her lightsaber, she activated it by twirling the thing. I did like that. That's a new method. Yeah, but uh, in canon, the lightsabers are supposed to be activated by the use of the Force or pressure. Which, uh, what? Oh. Finn, 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 Finn opens it. Yeah. In, but in, that's in only seven. in the new movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In in before these new movies, they were only supposed to be activated by the force. Uh, I feel like, like, I really... feel like there's more one method to open it. Like, yeah, well, I think yeah, there's definitely there more than one. Yeah. That's the because there's def- there's definitely buttons and switches mm-hmm. on them that do things. Yeah. Wasn't wouldn't Ray do some like weird like lightsaber twirl thing where and, she throws and, it? Like what 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 happened? I don't even remember. She threw it. She threw it and then it, oh right, it was like when they're doing the whole Kylo versus uh, Ray scene. And there, she was like, like throwing, like was chopping down things. No, oh, that was, was the, the trees that was a, that in was the, the beginning. Trees. But there's another time that she used it. Yeah, she's uh, throwing a lightsaber. You, uh, specifically in the uh, comics, there was one where at least Vader's lightsaber, it only works through the Force. You can't just grab it and turn it on. A normal person, I mean, because huh. you, you, you had to when you threw it, it just mm. retracts. That's why the ones in VR they just retract oh, when yeah. you let them go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some of them. Yeah, some of them. Mm-hmm. Definitely not all of them. There are definitely ones that have buttons, like the blaster one from Rebels, the one that's also a blaster. That that's fucking weird. A button. Oh yeah. Um, now the, like, we can suffice it to say there's a lot of different types of lightsabers, and they do very different things. Like hers was really like chunky. Yeah, hers was fucking mm. weird. Also, was that on the end of her staff? No, mm, I, mm. I don't remember. Yeah. It looked... I don't know. It, o- overall, I mean, I say that a lot. Jesus Christ, I've said that like six times. Uh, overall, it was a good movie. <laughs> I liked, uh, I liked the lightsaber. I think it's yeah. cool. I, like I just it. wanted just... more explanation. I've though. never seen it uh, them turned on by like a switch. Like, yeah, that. that's definitely new. The yeah. rotation mm-hmm. that kind of implies that you might not have to turn it all the way. Like, maybe you can just like mm. set it to ten percent. Mm. You know, just, so like, just lightsaber cheese knife. Lightsaber just yes. stun. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody gets the lightsaber cheese knife reference, uh, like I this video. I don't get the reference. I guess oh, I, I can't, can't explain it. it. Otherwise, then they'll get it. I'll explain it after the video's okay. over. If you remind me. Okay, I won't. Um, I'll forget. It's okay. Um, what else should we talk about? Uh, well, this was mostly about Star Wars Episode Nine and the connecting bits. We connecting, basically connecting, connecting bits. We basically right. talked about all of them. We've mentioned everything, every single one by name except episode two and three. Mm. Oh, by the way, yeah. uh, Clone Wars, no. Revenge no, of the Sith. No. We, we said the Clone clones. Wars. Attack the Clones. Attack the Clones? Yeah. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that Clone Wars and Attack of the Clones are, yeah. are different. Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. Yes. We've mentioned them all by name, I'm pretty sure now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Solo. Rogue, Rogue one, one and Solo. Rogue. Yeah, Star Wars Story. Clone Wars movie. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Holiday special. Yeah. Oh God, no! E- Ewoks. <laughs> so what, that's another thing, actually. Uh, yeah. They they got uh, Warwick to actually be in the film. Which oh, was that cool. was yeah. Yeah, they got the actual ones. So, that yeah. Star Destroyer over e- Endor was cut in half. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Lengthwise, yeah. what happened there? <laughs> I want to know what they did. Yeah. yeah. Also, the the droid Dio and the other. Little oh yeah, yeah. Dio the, like was. Barely there at all. He was literally yeah. just there to be a, a plot device to yeah. make it go faster. He's not even yeah. that. I, I think he's solely yeah. for. Uh, he was invented solely for toys. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Just like BB-8 was. Also, yeah. I think uh, other than like protocol droids, I don't know what kind of droid he is. I don't think he's yeah. an astromech, but he talks like regular. Yeah, he literally could be a stri- toy. He could be, but he was yeah. on a no, Sith no, ship. No, uh, he he was uh, apparently on the ship that uh, was on the ship that Ray's parents were on. Yeah. And apparently he had been weird. misused. Yeah. Some weird ass shit went on with him. Yeah, he may have killed somebody. Apparently, the the deal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it, how? they told him to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. That's what Adam Savage was saying, and yeah. I, I trust his opinions on things. Yeah. Oh yeah, He's, he had be- definitely been misused because when when uh, Ray activated him and wanted to like pick him up or touch him or something, he's like, no, thank you. Mm-hmm. And whoa, 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 honey, 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 hey. hey. Keep your hands away yeah. from the merchandise. I, I like this. You can't I think, follow this. Honestly, uh, having random droids uh, is just... Yeah, I definitely want more droids. I, yeah. I, I liked the uh, old-fashioned methods they used, like the with the planet exploding and the mm. little puppets all over the place. Yeah. I really liked it. I think it, made, I think it brings it back yeah. to what it should be. It yeah. literally looked like an ostrich egg blowing up. It looked... Dang. It looked way better. Like, uh, the ones in episode 7 were good, but that one like actually looked like the crust of the planet was ripping up. Yeah, I, really I did nice. like the way they did that. Um, it looked pretty good. Um, I do want to know how the, the girl and that tiny thing that were on that planet, how'd they survive that? <laughs> they just so happened to be on in space, but yeah. she was just making a big deal earlier about yeah. how she couldn't leave or something. Yeah, yeah. So they just so happened to leave when that <laughs> happened. Yeah. Also, there's one time the Millennium Falcon, like, we're like a, a Finn and all that people, they got on the Millennium Falcon... And the only Falcon was like turning, and he's still standing on it. And I'm like, what the heck? How does I mean, that even happen? Uh, <laughs> they did a similar thing to Luke uh, yeah. after yeah. he falls out of yeah. the planet. At least he is a, he's a force wielder, but yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Finn know. theoretically has the force. It's oh, been yeah. alluded uh, to, but not yeah. actually. He, 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 he has he's force sensitive. I believe yeah. is the word. I think they're showing him off the same way they showed off Leia. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's like, oh, is that a name I hear? Yeah. Oh. So here's a question. Why did the lightsaber in Episode 7 call to Rey and not Kylo Ren? Because Rey is... Uh, because it Rey was... Palpatine was directly controlling it. Yes. Controlling the lightsaber? I would say yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Palpatine was controlling the lightsaber okay. as well as Snoke. So... Yeah. 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 Also, that's something Snoke that... Snoke is basically just a, a clone of... Yeah. Nah, not even that. Or he's literally a, just he's, a He looks like a game. printed puppet. Yeah. yeah, like, that's yeah. Basically he had two more was, clones uh, of him in the yeah. in, in the room. Yeah. So. He was yeah. literally just there to tempt uh, Kylo Ren to the yeah. dark side. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which still, honestly, isn't explainable enough away from me for the first two. They were really playing him up as a big guy, and then they just killed him in the next one. And then they just explained him away as a clone, which is kind of what I thought originally. Sure. I mean, I, I, I can see, you know, if you go back now, it's easy to see that, you know, that was JJ's intent. Is kind of like... This guy is supposed to be big and brooding and mm. threatening because that's how Kylo Ren is supposed to see him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, realistically, he's just an, yeah. it, he was using a Snoke as a puppet to control Kylo yeah. Ren as a puppet. Yeah. Yep. Um, and it was yeah. pretty yeah. funny. This, mo- this movie would probably have the strongest fo- feats in the Force we had seen at all. In period, the I think. Oh, yeah. Like, For sure. Yeah. I mean, overall, I, I did... God damn it, I keep saying that! Uh, I like the force that happened in this. I liked all yeah. the lightning and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, there was uh, a lot now, of lightning. I, I will say that even if she didn't actually kill Chewie, another good yeah. spot to have actually done something was with uh, C-3PO. When he gives up his memory, yeah. he should have. instead of giving it back, they could have just not given it to him, and that could have been a, a, a new story right there. Or he was just yeah. complaining that R2's memory yeah. uh, just is shit. Yeah. So when R2 gives it back, maybe something could have been wrong. Maybe, it, like, he yeah. gave him all the wrong memory, and yeah. it's, like, a really old yeah. one. No, he yeah. gives like him he R2's memory. he suddenly remembers oh. the original series. Yeah. No, he, he goes, like, he oh, just gives him, one. like, right from the beginning. He's like, where's Anakin? <laughs> like, yeah. He remembers yeah. everything, including the yeah. prequels. He's just like, oh, my, what has happened here? Uh, yeah. How is Master Anakin? <laughs> and R2's Dead. Like, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> He's been dead for 32 years. After <laughs> killing a whole bunch of children. Master Anakin wouldn't do that. He's just a child. And, and, every, and then you just hear Leia go... <laughs> no, no. no. C- C-3PO should have just been like, I expected it. <laughs> I saw this coming when he built me. He told me he was going to kill some children someday. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I... Well. I did like the uh, jump cut from C-3PO being like, Oh, you would never! And then like R2-T2 is just doing it anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, 
<laughs> what I don't understand is why they didn't just take that memory block out of him instead of running it through him. <laughs> Fucked if I don't. Like, what's yeah. keeping that from... They have computers. Yeah. Why not just run that on a computer instead of him? I, the entire plot device of that was just stupid anyway. He can't translate Sith? What the fuck? Yeah. That's just stupid. I mean, yeah. Because, like, wh- what if the Rebel Alliance gets a fucking message? How the hell are, yeah. like, yeah. if they intercept a message, they're going to want to decode it. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. I mean, well, so, it, I mean well, how I would have to say it's probably because Palpatine put that in him or, or, or something. Some I, know, I, th- I, th- I feel I feel like they mentioned it being very very old, like yeah. really old program. Uh-huh. Also, I mean it. To be fair, he was programmed way back when Anakin was a child. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna look up exactly how many years that was between those years. Um, what I do wonder 66, is 66. why did yeah. yeah um because obviously I mean he can't have stayed with Anakin because in you know four he's already with R two D two and Leia yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. I would, I think he would. Maybe he just, I don't know. That was his old life, and he didn't want to be part of it anymore. I don't think he really. No, they wiped his memory. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, they wiped his memory. He was like, they were like, literally, said, and wipe that protocol droid's memory, and then he's like, what? Oh no. Like in, you're talking about in episode three, right? Yeah. Yeah, they wiped his memory. Which and R two. No, R two was not wiped. Wiped Uh, for some reason. Yeah. (laughs) So R two is the only one that remembers everything. Yeah. Except for Palpatine. Also, well, except did, did R2 even meet Anakin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before yeah. Vader? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. That, that was his main dread. They flew. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. So, like, in, you know, the Phantom Menace where he has a yellow ship and he blows up the space station? Yeah. R2 is the one in charge. Um, okay. Also, in the... But didn't Luke fly with R2 as yeah. well? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. wouldn't Luke be like, oh, God, not another one? Yep. Ugh. Yeah. It'd be really funny if he talked. Uh, I guess he was supposed to originally, but oh, they changed yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, he still does talk, just not okay. in English. You know? No, no, yeah, originally he yeah. talked in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah. dubbed over his yeah. lines with robot yeah. squeaks. Yeah. Yep. They did the same thing with Greedo. Originally he talked in English, but they changed his <laughs> lines, and so they had to dub over him with an alien language. Oh, yeah. Yep. So. 67. 68. That's how long between episode 1 and episode 9. Old fucking droids. I mean, yeah, right? And also well. his lightsaber was like yeah. 50 years old. The one that they yeah. eventually buried on the... They don't yeah. upgrade their tech very much. No, like literally <laughs> yeah. their, the history of the, like, the Old Republic games that used to be canon were like four, a thousand years or 4,000 years before the Battle of Yavin. <laughs> well, so I will say that like modern protocol droids tend to be able to float, which is you know a useful feature in mm-hmm. some cases. That way you don't have to manually load them into your ship mm. like they had to in 4, 5, and 6. Yeah. But, because uh, especially like in, in uh, Vader Immortal, uh, they, uh, the protocol droid that assists the main character uh, mm. has like some weird jet assist. Things. Yeah, I remember they showed R2 being able to like lift himself off the ground in the yeah, prequels. Not much though. Yeah, yeah, it was basically just in episode two. Well, and the main yeah. reason I did that was so that they could put that in the video games. Also, C three PO is one really slow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was surprised he was able to make it around that when they were in episode nine when they were like trying to hide and they had all like the hoods and C three PO had the hood. He's just like, I'm trying. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, you know, I think that's everything that we had to talk about. Yeah. Uh, so on a scale of one to ten, how do you rate the film? Though? Nine and a half. Nine. Nine? Oh, wow. Those are good scores. I would probably put it at about an eight or a nine, yeah? I don't think there's any Star Wars movies that I think is lower than a seven, for yeah. me personally. Except I, for eight. Nah, yeah. even, uh, even eight was eight. probably eight an eight for me. Yeah, eight's not my least The favorite. lowest for me is uh, Attack of the Clones, and yeah. that one's still yeah. very entertaining to watch. Yeah, Attack of the Clones and I think Phantom Menace are both lower than eight for me. I guess Actually, if you're looking really... at everything all together, like uh, all the action and uh, all, oh. all the imagery and all yeah. that, sure, but yeah. story-wise, mm. how would you rate episode eight, though? Like uh, Six. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's definitely weak in the story section, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. I mean, episode eight, if you hadn't made episode nine, was a five or lower. With episode nine, it's like a six, maybe a seven. Just because of how they bring meaning to different things. Yeah. So. Yeah. Still too many unanswered questions, so I'm sure there's going to be future trilogies or, yeah. or, or spin-offs yeah. or something. I wouldn't be too sad if they stopped this trilogy or they stopped, you know, this whole... Well, the, the, this well, was the end of the Skywalker saga yeah. and there's well, actually a Lego so, game coming out covering all nine movies. Yeah. So if you uh, if you look it up, um, 
originally, before 4, 5, and 6 had come out, they had planned for 12 uh, uh, episodes to come out. So there's probably going to be... There's supposed to be one more trilogy, theoretically, but we also didn't follow the trilogy the way it was intended Mm -hmm. to be written. It was supposed to go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, Mm. 10, 11, 12. Weird. (laughs) But they felt at the time they didn't have the stuff to do 7, 8, 9, so Mm. they went back and did 1, 2, 3 instead. Um, Mm. Because 7, 8, 9 was always supposed to be Luke passing off Excalibur, is how they called it. Passing off Excalibur. Yeah, so you're supposed to train up the next Jedi. That's what we were supposed to see. I mean, he he tried. He definitely tried. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I think. I wonder if uh, Rey's gonna make her own Jedi temple and then have some. Well, you know what? I I would love to see some of the more extended universe brought into the modern universe. Mm -hmm. For example, the Grey Jedi. That would be really cool to see if she Mm -hmm. decides to go with Mm -hmm. that. That way, she teaches these people, hey, you don't have to live without your emotions. You can harness them, but still be a good person. Yeah, because also, it's not healthy to follow either path. Yeah. yeah, and I was also hoping that the in the fleet, um, the back on Testicle, the planet, uh, <laughs> I was hoping that the Eclipse would be the flagship instead of just some random super star destroyer, because yeah. the Eclipse was something from the extended universe that also had a super laser in it, and it was like freaking monstrous. Like a star destroyer is like that big. The Eclipse is like that big. Yeah, yeah they can't see that, Noah. Uh, times if the eclipse, if the eclipse is, uh, I mean, a superstar story is like four inches. The super, uh, the eclipse is like five feet, yeah, and black <laughs> and like a f- two feet tall. It's huge. That sounds like a good reason not to animate it. I mean, it's, it'd just be big. They never show it up close unless they're like doing trench shots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. That would have been really interesting if they had done a callback like yeah. that, doing trench shots. Like, oh, look, it's a super stunner story. If you just fly right here and you'll launch your missile, you can hit a womp mm. rat. Mm. What? Mm. Like the dark saber. So I think that's basically what those Star Destroyers were, was miniature dark sabers. So, um, the, the movie ends on Tatooine, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So... Do you remember uh, if it was a sunset or sunrise? Uh, I think it was it's, a sunset. Yeah, it seemed like was a set. Oh, okay. Why? Well, because uh, those are... Uh, they've ended trilogies that way before. Um, mm-hmm. But it's also like... It's very obvious like when they're giving Luke to uh, his aunt and uncle, mm-hmm. uh, it's a sunrise. Uh, so it's the beginning of A New Hope. Mm-hmm. Whereas um, later on... Uh, I can't remember exactly when... But there, there was a sunset on, on Tatooine that was symbolizing like things were getting darker, um, which I believe was in A New Hope as he's like about to mm. leave and his yeah. parents are dead or, yeah, yeah. or un- aunt and uncle. Yeah, yeah. Um, like it was a sunset there. So it'd be interesting to see whether it was a sunrise or a sunset or if it was like noon. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was definitely a sunrise set, one or the other. I think it was a set though. <laughs> mm, yeah. Okay. So who do you, who do you ship Ray with? Herself. Herself. The cl- the evil clone from the from the destroyed Death Star. You know, ah! well, I, well, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I'd like to see no more of her. I don't like her storyline really, really that much. I think she's one of my favorite parts of the. Trilogy. I honestly, I feel like she, yeah, sure, she's an interesting character, but mm. I, I just, she's kind of boring. She's mm. kind, she comes off as a Mary Sue. Do you know what that is? Yes, that is basically what she is. Yeah, and it's just not that good. You know what a Mary Sue is? No. Uh, so a Mary Sue is someone who's. Uh, they get through events just because they're awesome. They don't have, like, any good reason to have gone where they were. Like, for example, um, when Luke goes off to leave planet mm. or whatever, he has a good reason. One, he's been trying for a while. Mm. Two, uh, everything he has on that planet is mm. gone. Mm. She uh, leaves the planet because she felt like it, oh, but she kept the- complaining that she wanted to go back. Um, which is kind of the opposite yeah, yeah. of the hero's journey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure, you can you can be opposed to the journey, but you should still have a reason to go on the journey. Mm. She just kind of went. Yeah, I think and that like, I think that her reasoning for leaving is kind of dumb. But I think everything yeah. else after. Is well, dumb. overall, she's kind of a Mary Sue just because like we we see no reason why she should have the abilities she has. She just has them. Well, I think it's because she's she's with the Mandalorian. She's a uh, grand. Of the right, right. Palpatine. She's a granddaughter of Palpatine, and, and she has significant amount of force, but mm. that doesn't mean she should be able to be good at what she does. I mean, everybody required training, even, you know. Mm. I mean, yeah, she yeah, definitely yeah, trained for, like, yeah. at least a year between yeah, yeah. Se- eight and yeah. nine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. sure. But we're talking about, yeah. like, in seven, she yeah. just, like, 
Yeah. It's good. Because, also, um, well, I, th- I think, I mean, if you take the whole Star Wars in the universe as a whole, it's definitely the same with Luke. Luke barely had any training at all, either. Yeah. If you, uh, were, but when, he's you definitely remember, not a Mary Sue. You remember the scene where they were fighting on the, uh, Kylo Ren and uh, Rey were fighting on the Death Star remains? Mm-hmm. You could definitely see that they were evenly matched, but then Kylo Ren definitely started beating down on her. Well, another, another time, uh, another difference here is when... Uh, Luke is beating the shit out of Darth Vader. Mm. He has the ability to take the final shot and chooses not to. Mm. Like, he could have just ended him right there, but he's Mm. like, no, I'm on the good side. Mm. Uh, Whereas when Leia is finding Kylo Ren, she had the ability to kill him, but the planet splits apart and she doesn't get the chance, but she definitely would have. Like, it definitely is very much seems like she was about to fucking chop his dick off, you know what I mean? Um, Well, no, that's when when Leia does the thing with... with, uh... Yeah, she... it says Ben, and then race. No, 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 no. We're not not in nine. When when the oh. entire planet is splitting apart, they're literally mm. forced apart. Mm. Well, it was like seven or eight. I can't remember. It was mm. seven. Seven, yeah. Like the literal planet splits apart, preventing her from killing him. But she was literally seconds from making the killing blow, and I doubt she would have stopped. She yeah. leans too much into her emotions. Yeah. Well, I would I would say that Luke did something similar in episode six because basically, uh, Palpatine like tells him to like go into your anger and all that right right he, he but says, he stops he says i'll never do it and then he go ahead and does it what he says i'll never join the dark side and then it goes as his full anger it goes at darth vader which is similar i'd say yeah but it's only really? he only got angry because darth vader said that he was going to take his sister yeah but still anger any but or any anger at right, all right, right. The dark side. but in the very last ah, moment the second bef- like just before he hits vader mm-hmm. he Turns off his blade. He's like, no, yeah. I'm not going to kill him. Yeah. Throws the blade away, yeah, which blade. Yeah. doesn't yeah. make sense. Wait, but also. with the scene that I'm talking about, mm. the only reason that she didn't kill him was because the literal planet split them apart. Yes. Otherwise, yeah, she would have yeah, taken the kill yeah, shot. I mean, That's I mean, what I'm saying. I mean, That's I mean, the difference. Yeah. Like, also, I, I agree with episode seven. I just think episode nine is different. Also, something uh, fun uh, f- interesting about Palpatine, he was never destroyed by an outside attack. It was literally only his attack going against himself. <laughs> yeah. And both and it, it was... Indiana Jones, like, like peeled his face off. And... Yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's, that's like... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> like, it, it was Mace Windu blocking the, his lightning back at him, and it was almost about to do the same thing. But then on the other planet, she had both lightsabers and just shredded I him. feel like it would have been better if they did, uh, instead of, like, tearing apart, if they just, like aged him into dust because then that would bring more sense to what had happened with mace windu is because like he just randomly starts looking like old and uh, shit it's like uh, it was kind of weird yeah i don't know uh, why he started doing so that. i think it would make more sense if it was like a draining his life force type of thing and they like slowly make him look older and older until he fades into dust or something mm. so but i guess then people might have thought what? that he turned into a force ghost you know how fucking scary a Sith Force Ghost would be? Also, uh, that's something that uh, I believe that only the Jedi know, is the Force Ghost things. Mm. Because you literally never see a Force Ghost Sith, except for Anakin, but he wasn't a Sith anymore. Yeah. Like, in uh, in oh, canon, it, it literally said that Obi-Wan went to the Nether Realm because he forgave him, and then taught him how to. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it was also kind of interesting that uh, when the film first came out, it was old Anakin, but now it's been edited to be... Uh, Hayden Christensen. I actually... I mean, it makes more sense as Hayden Christensen in my mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. So it used to be the actor who played Darth Vader demasked. It used to be that actor. Well, what, when? When used to be that? When it, the but, movie first came out. But when they released the edits, when uh, Greedo shoots first instead of Han, and, then they made it so that it was Hayden Christensen instead. Yeah. yeah. Because... So that's what yeah, the current That was when he yeah. was the most good. Yeah, yeah, you're talking about episode six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 But it, it it's not yeah. like that in, in when it first came out. Because Hayden yeah, Christensen yeah. hadn't been yeah. cast yet, so yeah, nobody yeah. knew who he yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been a lot funnier if they had cast Hayden Christensen that early, and then people yeah. just see that and like, yeah. who he the like fuck is that? Then. He's like five then, though. Yeah. 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 It, it still would have been just crazy to be like, who the fuck is that? And then, yeah. and then when they show up the Force Ghosts, <laughs> and it's all the Force Ghosts of the children. Just all of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Vader killed so many people. Yeah. 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 Like, the entirety of Alderaan, didn't he? No, that was Moff Tarkin. Oh. Grand, uh, Grand Moff Tarkin. He blew up. <laughs> he blew up? He blew up on the Death Star. Yep. But, I mean, it was, still, it was still his command, though, wasn't it? No, it was He's Grand Moff Tarkin. Ready, yeah, he? it was Grand Moff Tarkin. Huh. Anyway, also, that means that of all the movies, uh, there was four, there was six, seven, and nine had super weapons in them. I don't remember any super weapons from the other, from the uh, original three, the prequel. I mean, and except for in the animated series, 
where they had the uh, yeah. invincible. I think yeah. that's what I it's it depends called. on what you meant, super weapon. A super weapon, something that can destroy things on a planetary scale or much larger than yeah. one ship they, they can do mission, on its own. They mentioned the Death Star, but that's about it. Yeah. They don't show one firing. Yeah. And also, yeah, they do show. They, they like blown up how many planets? That's like Alderaan. A lot. Uh, Force Awakens, five of them blow up. Starkiller base like shoots five of them. Yeah. And, and like, then it itself them, blows up. up. Well, something about Starkiller base is that it also is uh, the planet where uh, the, the Jedi used to go to uh, get their kyber crystals for their lightsabers. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure oh. that that was uh, canon. Okay. Interesting. Well, I think that's everything we have to talk about. Yep. Yep. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And you guys have a good one. Bye-bye. Okay. See you something funny. It's not done recording.